Hi guys, this the first preview of the new UDraper functionality, which will be released pretty soon. This update makes it possible to import simple clothes designed in Marvelous Designer into Unreal Engine for real-time cloth simulation. In this video we'll show how to do the basic garment export from Marvelous Designer in order to use it with the UDraper Unreal Engine plugin. As usual, let's quickly prepare a collider mesh for our metahuman character and export it in OBJ format. Open the Marvelous Designer and import our Collider Mesh as an avatar. You might also want to decrease avatar skin offset because the default 3mm feels a bit too far. Open a simple skirt and make sure the mesh style is set to triangle. Then adjust the skirt position on the avatar. If we want to apply different properties to different patterns, we need to create additional fabrics and specify the patterns associated with this material. For instance, here we want to have a different fabric for the waistband. Also, we might want to change the mesh resolution. Say 15 mm instead of 10. Now let's open the UV editor and select Reset UV to 2D Arrangement. Start the simulation and make sure the skirt is draped correctly. Select the patterns you want to export and select the Export OBJ selected menu. Select the folder and the name for your OBJ file. In the Export OBJ dialog, Select the following options, Single Object, Weld, and Thin. Select the Unified UV Coordinates. And click OK. Back in Unreal Editor, add the Draper Garment to your Draper Simulation component and click the Import button. In the Import Garment dialog, we select the OBJ file we've just exported. For this example, we leave the pattern part empty. Specify a location where we want the imported garment to be saved. Click Import and our skirt gets imported. Let's configure materials for this garment. With the Draper Garment component selected, click Edit button to open the Draper Editor. We've got two materials that were set for this skirt in Marvelous Designer. Let's adjust some parameters for the waistband such as thickness, bias, and the curvature. You should see how this affects the appearance of the garment in the scene. Then, you can edit the visual appearance as we showed in the previous videos. Here we just apply a material preset that we've prepared previously. Since the waistband is the part that should fit well during the animation, you might want to increase the rigidity gain and add some bindings to make sure the skirt won't slide down. It's important to save this material to apply our new fabric settings. Let's apply another setting to the skirt fabric. Don't forget to save the new settings. Now we can click play and make sure everything is working correctly. Let's add a top for our outfit and this time we want to use existing textures available for the marvelous designer garment. Let's take this sample dress and simplify it a little by removing this skirt and the wristband. Import our Collider Mesh again. Remove the patterns that create double layers. Adjust the avatar's skin offset. 
increase the particle distance since 5 mm is too low for our need. Make sure the mesh style is set to triangle. Run the simulation to drape the garment around the avatar. Unlike the previous example, we now want to use existing fabric textures, so, we'll need to export two OBJ files, with the textures and with the pattern's UV coordinates. For the first exported file, we uncheck the Unified UV Coordinates option and select Save with Texture Files Zip. Before we do the second export, open the UV Editor and select Reset UV to 2D Arrangement. Then invoke the OBJ export command and specify another name for the OBJ file that should contain the pattern's information. In the Export OBJ dialog, keep the Unified UV Coordinates option checked and deselect the Save with Texture Files option. Click OK. In Unreal Editor, add another Draper Garment component for our new tank top. Before importing the new OBJ files, we need to unzip the archive with the first OBJ file and the textures. Let's repeat the OBJ import but this time we select the second pattern OBJ file. This time we're importing the textures, so, the texture processing is set to compress. Click Import to import the new tank top. Again, we can adjust the materials for the tank top. As you can see, the textures we've exported from the MD are imported now. We still might want to edit some fabric parameters such as the thickness, texture contrast, and so on. Make sure you save the changes we've made. Click play again to see whether both garments are simulated correctly. During the simulation we can save the garment to store the garment position in relation to the avatar's mesh. This concludes the first part of this tutorial on importing simple garments created in Marvelous Designer or Clo 3D using UDraper Unreal Engine plugin for the real-time cloth simulation.